Hello, McWarriors. How's it going? And welcome to another episode of Rogue Take, where we are getting another vehicle on the battlefield today. We have enough parts for a Fugin, and this thing is beautiful because it is a flying helicopter thing that also runs a Gauss rifle, one medium laser of the heavy clan variety. We got two air-to-air -air missiles. Uh, we got mine dispensers and quad missiles and a flare. That thing is good, and we're gonna ready it up and... Ooh. Pay 200,000 sea bills for it. But anyway, we got that guy on the battlefield now. And that means that we can bring back Magpie, which is also good because I want her to get more experience. And that's the thing. She cannot really get experience when she is not on the battlefield. And I also want her sensor lock ability to be on the battlefield as well. We are also able to build a Wolvie. So I guess we just do it to get some value and maybe just scrap that thing afterwards. Or is it in good condition? Nah, it's not. No, we get a rotary. Okay, rotary five, weapon mount recoil, upper recoil. Ooh, now that is interesting. Okay, the recoil is, the weapon mount is down, but we have an upper recoil. That's cool. That is cool as hell. Uh, heat bank plus plus is also nice. And yeah, I, I just scrapped that thing. I'm not interested in a 55 toner. It'll give me a little bit of money and then the items will fall out of it and will be put into our storage. So, grasshopper, nine days all the way to the top. Uziel all the way to the bottom, and then we're gonna wait a little while, and then we play a mission or two. Ah, here it is. MRB authorization upgrade available. Uh-huh. Your commander wizard of Wizards Warcast says, It's a great pleasure. The MRB can inform you that your company is now able to request an increased contract classification authorization within the MRB contract bidding system. For a small nominal fee, the MRB will provide one of its most expensive experienced assessors who after a routine assessment of your company's capabilities will allow the requisition of an upgraded official MRB Epsilon authorization console. This upgrade will allow your company uh, to take on even harder contracts, opening the path to even more glory and fortunes. We hope to hear from you shortly. Template generic insert name for friendly local MRB representative. Great. Darius waits impatiently to finish the reading the message. What are we waiting for? Let's request the assessment at once. Imagine the increased amount of fame I, um, uh, that we, uh, will achieve <laughs> once it is known that we can handle Epsilon level contracts. Information. The access to super heavy mission contracts can now be unlocked. These missions are considerably harder than, uh, as they will include, uh, one or more super heavy mechs or vehicles. With each, which each can weigh up to 200 tons, depending on your current difficulty rating. Uh, so we can delay for 180 days or we can send the request right now. Click. All right. Let's take a look. Why not, Darius? Why not? I'm always ready for more challenges. Let's get the assessor over here as soon as we can. Good. Let's do it. So does it mean like super heavies show up in like regular missions again? Um, we'll see. I really believe that these are now special missions that will show up. But anyway, that's not what we are here for right now. We are here for... Ooh, we could play the duel in the end. Yeah. I wanted to play the Escort in the Lowlands. That seems like a fun idea. We could potentially get the assassination mission gone. Done. Now with the Fugin as an extra unit on the battlefield. We could also lose it instantly. Huh. I'm gonna go with Escort right now. Let's do it. So, no need to stretch anything. By the way, you have Vehicular Advanced Stealth. You have Sheath Beacon. And you have... Sheath Beacon. Okay, cool. That's beautiful. Slap you right in here. Ah, 420 tons. No, we need to upgrade. We definitely need to upgrade. Is the Cloudbuster good here in this position? Or do we want to get the Fusion on the battlefield? Ah, difficult. Difficult. We have a lot of affinity with the Cloudbuster already. So we get that sweet, sweet uh, long range accuracy and extreme range accuracy. But it's only two large lasers. This thing has more punch. We'll do it like this. We want to train Magpie, that's for sure. Let's deploy. Boom. Let's go. The Fusion is hopefully for a long time a nice asset for the land, so it's better to get this started. Let's go to the battlefield together. So, let's see what we can do here on this beautiful, beautiful autumn day. We have blocking forces. All right. It means we got to clear them out before we can actually reach our garrison, but that's okay. We can do it. Uh, and you know what, we're gonna start up here. It's it's as good as any dropping place in general. So, it is a three and a half, so I assume we're gonna see a bunch of heavy mechs. It's a fire moth? 
I mean, I'm taking a fire moth. I'm taking the parts out of a fire moth. Thank you. Commando. Another fire moth. And a cicada 2A. Hmm. Am I a joke to you, huh? I'm gonna go in. So why fire moth? Because AP Gauss rifles, clan equipment in general, it's beautiful. We should respect those, by the way. Clan machine gun arrays. Oh boy. Oh boy. That's pretty cool, actually. There's some good stuff here. But there will be more later. So I'm gonna make it rather quick. Ooh. Ooh. You only generate six evasion. I guess we have to bang on your stealth. The cool thing is that we have an EWS ping on the battlefield as well. That's pretty solid. Medium laser, SRM6. Pretty good. Grasshopper can hop. And it wants to. Let me get eight evasion out of this. The dam. You are also jumping like crazy. The dam. So again, I want to make the first round rather quick because I don't really respect my enemies. Maybe I should, I don't know. Okay, just getting into a position so we can start the fight. Cicada is nothing. It has one medium laser and two small lasers and just a big engine of the standard variety. So, uh, yeah, we need to take the moths out, that's for sure. And the cool thing about the fusion is the more it moves, the faster it gets, so it builds momentum. So that's nice. Gauss Rifle Heavy Laser. That's where we are right now. Boom. <laughs> Alright. That was a good hit. That was an excellent hit. Ooh, I love it. I love bullying Light Max. Yeah, you can try. I have 8 evasion now and 4 stealth charges? That is a lot. Sure, let's go in. Not the best hit chance, but uh, I'll take it anyway. Because we got damage. We just got volume of fire as well. Next, uh, the other Hawk Moth. Again, clan equipment is interesting, but only if it's on my side. Come on, I want to sprint, not just move. 13 evasion. Ah! The game! The user interface. I, I I struggle so hard right now. Okay, still calculating. Let's go over here. This is where we're gonna attack now. The fire moth K. Light machine gun arrays. All right. Not, not dropping the bombs yet. I think we can keep them. Maybe it's worth putting a missile out there. Okay. One laser, one array. That's pretty good. And it is his turn now. Man, ideally we're gonna salvage an XL engine, but not if we completely and utterly destroy these guys. I want another Clan XL, that's for sure, because I want to build another mech. By the way, we should really care for Tornage upgrade at this point. Makes a lot of sense now. Hmm. Alright, I'll do it like this. Uh, let's go. Alright. That is eight activations remaining, uh, bleeding out, also unsteady. I mean, I could do this, I guess. Let's go ahead and punch this guy. And boom. Yeah. Cool. Again, I want to see if I can get this done quickly. Let's get uh, the commando next. It actually has more damage output than the cicada, so we better take this guy out first. And we take all of the weapons. All of them. Right. You still want to come close, Cicada? Huh? No, you better run. <laughs> okay. I'm gonna get you anyway. Uh... Alright, I'm gonna disable my... Can I do this in bulk? Yeah. Uh, I'm gonna just disable these and shoot standard stuff at the commando. I wanna save some of my ammo, I guess. Pilot incapacitated. Beautiful. So, Kaspar. Go to the flank. Kill Cicada. And that's the deal. And this time I'm gonna, again, save my missiles. There will be more enemies. There will be two more waves to come. So, let's not overdo it here. Jumping. And shooting. We hit him once, at the very least. But hey, wait, there is more. Yeah, this is our long range coming in now. Let's 
SK, funnily enough, takes a lot of damage. Although it's a Cicada, they technically don't really have that much um, armor. But he stays. He's running over oh, here. Yeah. <laughs> okay, we have hero. We don't have hero. Oh, what? Out of range. I guess we have to send in the helicopter squad. I like that we are generating more and more evasion. Is this gonna be a stray shot? We'll see. No, it's a direct hit. Cool. 33%. We got it. So I think the UCL is also gonna make its way over to the base so we can trigger the um, the the guys that are coming out there. What are they called? Like vehicles. The escorts. No, we are the escorts. They are the escort T's. Anyway, let's fire some things. It's out of range here. I think we have enough missiles that we can just throw at the cicada without remorse. Our bins are still full. Okay. There's no direct line of sight, so we are sprinting to get a little closer for potentially a better hit chance. My idea is to make him unsteady now, and now we can follow up with massive damage and massive accuracy. Like this, for example. Yeah. Fire! So, the blocking force was no match for me at all. That was good. That was really good. Um, ba -ba 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 we, where do we have to go? Like, gonna, gonna quickly check it out. Oh god. So, this is the way down. There should be a landing pad somewhere. But there is none. I think we have to go to the tunnel. So, um, I'm gonna already... Uh, whatever. I'm gonna use this here. Now we know. Okay. Uh, just move around a bit. Shake up the stability. Uh, get going on the road. There we go. Kaspar is gonna just jump back to the squad. Raise it up. And then we got our beautiful fusion that just wants to stay in motion. So we generate that sweet 10 evasion. And there we are. So, here's the convoy. This is the evac zone. Good. Enemies are here. We see a CX. Double SRM4, one medium laser. Another commando. Small laser, double medium. Oh, there we go. Sentinel. Ultra 5 Streak 2. And a command vehicle? Am I a joke to you? Like, what? what is this? Give me some enemies. Like, seriously. What are we doing here? Huh. Maybe this mission is a quick mission. One of those, huh? But honestly, I want to get some value. This is, should be a three and a half skull. Where's the value? Small rotary cam laser, by the way. These are good. These are really good. Grenade launcher, Thunderbolt 15, a Bradford, a Prowler, and a Goblin. Good. So somebody has to take care of these. While we have a hit chance, we're gonna go for it. Give him the missile. Oh, he survives. Interesting. Yeah, I think I'm gonna drop mines. Does it matter? No. Would it have mattered if he survived? No. <laughs> mines are just bad. Oh man, let's go. Uh, nothing to do here. Oh, wait. We could get an angle on a sentinel, and I will totally take that. Why not? Even if the hit chance is not the greatest, it's just a sentinel. So, yeah, sorry for all the guys who like the slower approach, but this mission doesn't make me think. It just makes me click buttons. And then things explode, right? So, therefore, there is, there's no thinking involved right now. You know, we're just farming these guys, which is, you know, fun. Occasionally, I'll, I'll take it. Sure, don't get me wrong. It's it's all right, but but that you know. All right, Lieutenant. Uh, yeah, can't go here. Full throttle. 
and drop a thunderbolt. Engaging target. Completely missed that. Okay. No damage detected. No damage detected. Oh, really? Where's my distance here? This one? I can't take it. All right. So LRM 15, a go. Engaging target. Beautiful. Oh, and then we have some real LRMs. Oh, now the fun begins. Look at all of this. That is a hit chance. I'll take it. Standard ammunition only. We're not here to overheat this guy necessarily. We're here to kill it. Although we didn't. Uh, keep in mind, this is a primitive engine. Primitive engines tend to go stack ball. They, they tend to explode in a big, big uh, fiery ball of death. We should probably stay away with the grasshopper. Yeah, we know that we cannot really go far with these. I know. Full Let's get on the road, guys. Want to shoot our LRM-5? I mean, why not? Maybe that's the little bit of damage that we need. It's not. So, Fujin, help me out, Fujin. We need you. I mean, we don't, but I want you. He's down to one health. Uh, like one hit point in the center, like one structure. Look at this. Oh, man. Swap to LRM. These MMLs have actually proven their worth already. They are pretty good. So, pilot is bleeding out. That was a little bit too easy. I really hope that the last wave is gonna give us a little bit more hell. Because I am, again, here for some value, for some salvage. And we have some clan items on the battlefield, so that's cool. With the Hawk Moth. But there, there has to be more. Alright, brace it up. Yeah, I guess we have to take, like, three rounds to get there. Um... You know what, I'm gonna get there and then uh, we will see each other again. Okay, we're ready to actually enter the convoy extract zone. Uh, did I go into the dropship area with my grasshopper? Oh, no, oh, not quite. Okay, cool. Ooh, that was a little, little bit close, I'd say. Ah, uh, yeah, we're fine, right? No explosions. Ooh, okay, good. So, our enemies are Hatchetman, Austin, Prowler, Vedette, and the Bombardier. Okay, what's the Bombardier? The Bombardier? I don't know, but you know what? We're gonna figure it out by just running in close and see what we can find here. Now we see... This thing is like a... Heavy mech, right? What is that? Look at him! This seems like a fake archer. Alright, cool. Cool, 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 cool. Uh, we can hit the dead quite nicely, so I think I'm gonna go for that thing right now. Boom, easy. Very, very easy. Next up. Oh, God. Are you really making it that easy? It's crazy. Uh, we're gonna go, I think, incendiary on everything. Let's also go vigilant because we can. Yeah, man. These guys have nothing. Feel the heat? It's only 60, but that's all right. All right. Do we by chance? Yeah, we have the sensor lock ability, so might as well go for it. Negative two evasion, sure. We'll take it. We'll drop everything on these guys because there will be nothing else coming out of this mission anymore. This is the end. This is all they got. 65 ton, by the way. The bomb man. Since we know that he is not immune to sensor lock, I'm gonna give him another one. Negative four, negative two now. Um, and then Artemis. Here we go. Kaput. All right. So, Hatchet Man and one more tank. It's just crazy. Absolutely insane. We're dealing so much damage here. We've got Sansa Lock, right? Let's go for the Hatchet Man next. I'm a little bit afraid of this little guy. So, drop everything, high explosive bombs, more high explosive bombs, and then more mine bombs afterwards. Yeah, we destroy the minefield and then we build it up again. This is just crazy. 
Ah, wait. My Thunderbolt can only fire indirectly, but that's alright. Alright. Little bit of damage. This might be it, actually. We'll see. Alright, we got the hatchet down. That's okay. Six ton hatchet, yeah. Cool. Cool if it was there, huh? Would have been. For you. Alright, and then we got the PPCs. And the plasma. And we even have more? That's insane, man. That is so insane. Oh, we cannot move the goblin anymore, right? Don't think we can move it here. Yeah, it's okay. So we're gonna shoot indirectly from this position with only an LRM-5. Rippy hand destroyed! No! That's a good one, actually. So, rotary chemical laser cannot do anything. We have to deal with the single tank and then we can go home. Hashtag quick mission, I say. I'll take it. I will totally take it. The tank also didn't move. Which means that we have a perfect hit chance on this guy. Okay. I'll stand and shoot this. There's no need to go anywhere right now. We have all the firepower in the world standing right in front of him and he has nothing, really. Excuse me. I know, it was a quite quick mission, like, a little bit rushed. But again, there were no real choices to be made. Successful. I wish it was uh, different, I really wish. But I guess we're gonna take this as a, as a win for us, like a massive win. We didn't even take any damage really, right? So repair cost is gonna be close to zero. Um, Money is not gonna be that great, right? Oh, 600,000, that's all right. And we're gonna get some items. Let's check it out. So, Command Man, no. Hatchet Man, no. AP Gauss times three. Love my AP Gauss rifles. They are pretty good. If you want to go crit seeking, this is the thing. 50% extra crit. They shoot uh, sub projectiles. They only half a ton. It's really nice. And they are extremely good against battle armor. I think I want to pick them, but let's see. LB10 prototype is bad, right? Because it's prototype. That means it's it's not good. Yeah, they have a 10% jam chance. Clan medium heavy. Hmm. Light machine gun array. 100% crit chance. Wow. That is amazing. It's a one ton item that shoots three times uh, and deals four damage per shot up to six times. So we have a 24 damage output. Doesn't really matter that much. It's all about the... It's all about the amount of um, bullets that you shoot that can crit. Um, primitive fuel cell engine, Guardian ECM, Clan Doubles. We might want to pick them. We might want to get those double heat sinks. That's what I thought. There's not a lot of stuff here. Armor piercing, you say? You little sneaky bastard. So, we have a 50% chance less to deal a crit, but... Oh wait, it's not armor piercing as in through armor, it is armor piercing as in it deals more damage to armor. And less to structure. Interesting. I don't know what to pick. I mean, mag shot ammo would be great if I ever want to run these AP Gausses. There's the Fire Moth, there's the Bombo. The Bombardier. Stable. Stable is cool. Less self knockdown chance if you shoot something big. And then 10% energy damage taken reduction. Uh, such a weird guy. Yeah, there's not a lot that I'm super excited about, honestly. I'll actually take the AP Gauss Rifles for later, I guess. Later, later. And I'm actually taking the double heat sinks to patch my... My lack of double heat sinks. So I can actually build with a clan double heat sink kit. Um... Machine Gun Array is not really a thing I want. Quick Cell Gauss Rifle is not a thing I like. It's, an, it's two AC2s built together. I'll take these. Now we have four APs. 50 shots only. Ooh. Ooh, we need more ammo for them if I ever want to use them. Yeah, what's what's valuable here? We have one more pick. I could pick an engine, I guess. 733. Omnis? 
Yeah, actually, we're gonna get more Omnis. Why not? Seems good. And then some random salvage. We get the 65 tonner, we get a part of a hatchet man. All right, the Prowler. Why not? Uh, more Prowler. Cool. AP Gauss, LRM5, Machine Gun Light. Love it. Streak 2 can go. Engine can go. Jump Jets can definitely go. Probe King, get out of here. Clan Sensors, we got two of them already. Single Heat, Single Cooling times 5. Hey, 70,000, uh, 65,000 sea bills. Yeah, it's, it's all right. It's absolutely all right. We made some money out of that, and that with a very little effort. And we got some little bits of items here. It's all right. So, second mission coming up right now, I'd say. We are definitely playing another one. Which one is it gonna be? Uh, is it gonna be though? Huh. I think we're gonna play the duel. We're gonna make that happen. So there's our, there's probably gonna be our goodie for today, our little treat that we're gonna get. If we survive the mission, it's a two and a half skull, so they might have something good. And our flyer is currently not in the best spot in terms of burst damage. It has area damage currently. What's that? The cheetah navigation computer. Oh, we have one of those already. Do we always get them when we play against pirate stuff? No, we were playing against, what was it, Steiner, government? All right, um, yeah, we need to collect them all. There are multiple different parts of this weird navigational thing, the the pirate jump booster for our Argo. Um, and if we have all of them, then um, we can build this thing together. And yeah, we literally took no damage, no repair cost at all. That's insane. Anyway, we need two days. Here we go. And we will take... Let me see. Maybe another mission has emerged. No. Capture base? For more value? In the lowlands? Also seems very doable. I want to play the duel. Though. You know what? We're going to play the duel right now before we forget. We're going to get money and one pick. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. Save the lands. As... Alpha lands. Yeah, Alua lands. Why not? And then we're gonna... Let me clear. There's no clear button, right? No. Okay. So, obviously, I want to bring... Ooh. I could bring the Archer, actually. Uh, or the Vulture. But I think it's fine to just bring the Phoenix. It's a solo. Yeah, just to make sure that we are not going on under... Undergunned. And what now? Cannot deploy. Requires a mech between 20 and 100 tons. I have that right here. Oh, okay. Whatever. Uh, I needed to be in the first few, uh, in the first four slots, I believe. Cool. So, we are, I'd say, good to go. Let's see if our high evasion can actually keep us safe. Let's get into it, guys. Command we are in the jungle. Oh, that means we don't really have any good spaces and, uh, to hide here. Yeah, we have to completely rely on our own evasion. Let's see what we got. We got a stealthy boy. Oh no, we have a dervish behind cover. Oh, we can deal with the dervish. I don't think that's gonna be the biggest of deals. And if possible, we wanna initiate on him with heat and light everything up. What were those missiles? Those were no regular LRMs. I mean, obviously. Come on, come on, come on. Backstrike. 13 evasion here, but no hit chance on the bomb. Yeah, come on. I want this spot. Yeah. Okay, so only 12 instead of 13 evasion. But there is a chance we're gonna kill this guy. High explosives only. Actually, is it high explosives only? I wonder if I should heat him up. Yeah. Um, I'll take it. <laughs> what is going on today? Mission successful. What is this? I mean, we're barely making an effort today, which is fine. Guess we play another one, right? That was too quick. Come on, come on. But yeah, let's let's just take some loot with us. We only we only needed one shot, literally, and we also didn't take any damage. That's the easiest 700,000 C bills ever. Wow. What were you running there, buddy? Acid? Oh, MMLs. No, wait, what? 
Huh. SRMs and LRMs. Interesting. Z Jammer Mark II. It's not really that great. Com speed is fine for extra resolve and tactics. Uh, missile range is a thing that we don't really need right now. We can also take the LRM-20 Delta. Missiles have 1 HP, but this thing has a 2 recoil. I don't think I'm gonna take it. We can even take the Dervish parts, possibly. Oh, what's it gonna be here? I think it's the comm suite. I think this is the most interesting item out of these. And we're also gonna get a Dervish part, the Jammer that I'm certainly selling, Endo Steel that we don't need. Yeah, I mean, it's a little bit of extra goodies. I wasn't here for the salvage that much. I wanted to get one thing and then a little bit of money. Which also means that we can use our money that we've just gotten and put it into the Argo upgrades because we don't really, really need to repair anything right now. There's no build coming up. We don't have to save our money for a mech, potentially. So what I want now is drop tonnage limitation upgrades. These things um, yeah, need to be done so that I can bring my... How many units do I have right now? My eight units? Yeah, I think I'm running seven now. Yeah. So more units is more fun, is more firepower, is more reliability, is more killing quicker, is more not dying to enemy fire. All right, two days. Storage space upgraded now. We got five million sea bills. What happened to me? Wow, absolutely insane. Uh, upgraded communications network. Weather monitoring? Like, where's the... Leopard upgraded communications network. Drop bay. Oh, it's this one, okay. Uh, increase allowed drop size by one vehicle. Okay, I'm gonna buy it. I mean, if that's the thing that I need, I'll do it. Why not? Cool. So, still, we play another mission. And you know what? I'm gonna go and play the capture base mission. I think three and a half is fine right now. I know that I said earlier I needed a bit bigger challenge, but right now I also wanna, I also wanna uh, finish another one in time because we already have uh, about thirty, a little bit more than thirty minutes on the timer, and I don't want to really go too much over an hour today. All right, guys, let's go and see what we can do here. Okay, so we probably don't have any friends. The enemies probably have a support lance. Yeah, that's what I thought. Um, and ooh, we can start here on the high ground, but do we want to? Traversing this area is going to be hard for us. I think, if possible, I want to start... Yes, right here on the other side. Let's go. Okay, okay, okay. So, not only do we have one lance on the base, we have one support lance and we have turrets as well. So that's three, basically, lances of enemies that are fighting us. Let's see what we got. Shadowhawk, we got Trident, Spectre, Heavy Laser Turret, Heavy Shredder Turret, Assassin, a Prowler, an Avatar. Ooh, nice. An Arbiter, a Blackjack, and a more standard turret point defense all the way in the back. That's good because we don't have to bother with that then. Cool. Let's get the fusion going. I think we want to stay in the back line as long as we don't have that much evasion. But as soon as we acquire enough momentum, then I think we're going to go in. Let's go with Yell. Yeah, we can jump this thing to the front line, right? Can we? We should probably give it a bit more buddies to the front. What's the Assassin's deal? There's a long pipe sticking out of his arm, so that's a PPC or a plasma cannon. Spectre, cool, 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 trident. I think we can actually deal with a little bit of brawling. We're also gonna send in the Phoenix. Give a little bit of extras here. So, yeah, I know, there are turrets everywhere. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Brace it up, buddy. Blackjack is running. It's the OB, so it's an Omni, huh? Mm, we'll see what that guy brings to the table. I think my missile barrage wants to stay on the high ground, mostly. We have enough enemies down here that they are they are in range. So that's fine. Cheddarhawk coming in. Uh, DNI on. Oh, wait, what? That was a fail. Okay, we are a little bit unconscious now. We're gonna get fully unconscious if we reach four, which is our cap. Right now we have one, one injury. Okay. Trident. Uh, sure. Hopper to the front. That thing wants to get into a nice brawl and swing its fist around. 
Maybe I'm a bit too aggressive. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. So, LRMs, as I was saying, on the high ground. We're gonna just move it and brace it for the moment. And that is... The hell? Did you just call in friends? What was the drop pod thing? Alright, that's... that's funky. That is super duper funky. What did you just do? Oh boy. I am an actually a little, little bit afraid here. Prowler, take that guy down. It's, it's a nasty thing to have on the battlefield and it's an easy target right now in the water, so let's take it. We'll try. That is a tank down. Love it. Come on, one shot, one kill on everybody now and we are getting out of here quickly again. That's not gonna happen, but, you know, a man can dream. Sensor lock! That's cheating. Only I am allowed to have sensor lock. Okay, so what's my next target? I don't think that the trident is necessarily dangerous. Who are you? Light rotary rifle? Rockets? Fluid guns? More rockets? I guess we have to take down... The Hawk. We'll try with the missiles. I'm gonna drop everything on him. Yeah, let's go. Pew pew. Mister, he's about to get knocked and is certainly unsteady. And it, he's standing in a minefield right now, so that's not good for him. It was a decent shot. I like that we dealt so much instability on him. Got plasma. Status reports. Ooh, that's a nasty hit on the front there. Alright, alright, alright. We are relatively low on initiative. The enemies have the jump on us mostly. Okay, never mind. They're not really doing anything with it. So, I think I will bring my Uziel over here to the flonk. Yeah. Right here. And we're gonna knock this guy down or even finish him. Let's see. Well, we have a lot of heat on him. Something exploded. We got an injury. And did we get another injury? Yeah, he's down to one health. Means I can potentially leave him where he is right now. I think this should be fine. 17. Trident is running. Good. Good for him. Yeah, we have a good chunk of AMS. Wait, where's my Vulture even? We need to stay in a pack in order to get the most out of our AMS. Hmm. Some of these guys are stealthed, which I am not really happy about right now. Could I... Could I backstrike? No, but I want to see if there's something here. The drop pod here. Is there anybody coming out of this? Like battle armor or something? I don't know. I will, however, attack the avatar. Because he's nasty. I'll drop a nice bouquet of everything I have. Yup. Get that? Cool. So, turn a 15. Oh my god! Is that a pirate rock you're running? It is a pirate rock you're running. Okay. This Arbiter is scary. Especially against my flyer. We gotta be careful on this flank. Like, really careful. By the way, I wish I had multi-target right now. So I could finish off the Shadowhawk and also attack the Avatar with good damage. You know what? I'm gonna go Incendiary on this guy. Okay, how much was that? Uh, I couldn't see it. Okay. Well, we got some heat on him. As a result, he might not shoot all of his weapons. And that's already a benefit. Good damage, Mr. Firestarter. No, Spectre, actually. Spectre. Right. We want to stay close to our AMS. In terms of hit chance... Yeah, I guess I go for the Avatar and try to finish him now. See, even if he is braced... We have perfect damage because of multi-breaching shot. 
thanks to our amazing skill that we got on Hero. Alright, Avatar down. That's a big deal for us, by the way. Gauss on the Blackjack. Interesting. So, what, what's our melee mech gonna do? Yeah, I think I'm gonna push it a little. And we're gonna shoot in this direction, maybe taking off the side torso of Mr. Hawk. Get a... Huh? What's going on? Give me a sec. I cannot... I cannot target him anymore. Now I can. Okay, so we're gonna go for the side. Uh, I'll take the accuracy shot here so we don't generate that much heat. And we didn't kill. Hmm. Heavy laser? Hyper laser? Something like that. So we gotta be careful. Again, the right flank is too risky for our flyer. I should go. Overheat. Oh boy! There's the shredder turret. AC20 coming in. Hitting us in the center. Alright, I think as soon as we have like half of the enemies down here, the most important ones, we're gonna go for the turrets because they have firepower. It's crazy. Hmm, turn 18. Who's it gonna be? Blackjack is 16. That's nasty. Alright, so we wanna retreat from the flank, that's for sure. I think getting in here is a good idea. And then the other question is, do we want to attack the Shadowhawk? No, he can He can stay where he is right now. What I want to do is EWS ping everybody. Get rid of their stealth for a turn, hopefully get rid of their evasion for a little. And the Shadowhawk is so hot right now that I don't think he's going to get anything done anymore. So we'd rather attack the Assassin. Oh boy, that gal's projectile. So, Jamie, come on. Now you should have a hit chance. Oh yeah, perfect. Uh, I'm gonna go for the Assassin first. The plasma rifle needs to go. That is on the right arm. That is the whole mech. C -c -c combo I love it. Yeah, that big AoE ping is worth so much right now. It's definitely worth more than shooting my bombs or my small lasers. Still, they're hitting us with massive accuracy. It's kind of insane. I think the next target is gonna be turrets. Just turrets, turrets, turrets. Especially the Shredder turret right in front of us. That thing needs to go the big time. So far, so good. Sorry for the performance issues, guys. It's a bit laggy today, I know, but hey, what can you do? So, Ella freaking M's. Let's push it a little bit. I should probably shake up stability. So let's go over here and just move. And then shoot Mr. Shreddy turret. We deal 11 damage. Structures don't like heat, but we only have 55 shots. So these have to be something else. That's good. All right, one turret down, easy peasy. Overheat, blow up. Panicked, anything? Oh yeah. That rock also needs to go, forgot about it. It's crazy how much damage it can deal. And this Arbiter is actually quite accurate. Quite accurate, man. What was coming from you? You wear a heavy laser turret? Nah, it's fine. I have bigger fish to fry right now. So we go over here, we hit the spectre, I don't like the large laser. Oh, and we can go vigilant, I'll take that, sure. That is interesting. Uh, we should have dealt 5 damage, but obstructed line of sight... ...actually still matters here. Oh, Ziel. You know what? I'm gonna go passive for a bit more protection on the Uziel. 
passive angel ECM. We still have a big angel ECM circle here, the blue one that covers everybody anyway. Now we have, I think, uh, an ECM shield of 5 on the OZL. It's good. Oh, I took my melee target away. Uh -huh. Large Rex laser. Got it. Got it, got it, got it. Okay. Ah, uh, man. I, I want to attack the hawk. Do I? No, we don't need to. I really want it dead, but I, I, I shouldn't. There's no point attacking him. Like, none. He's so hot. So we're gonna start with the turret. Okay. So. Flyer. 10 evasion. Love it. We want to get the trident down, the 30 ton tank. That would be probably a kill. This thing is more important. Eh. It's alright. Still hit us. Mildly, mildly. Yeah, getting that lag destroyed and having the SRM ammo go boom would be very, very bad for us. So, Jamie, what to do? Next big target is probably gonna be the Arbiter. Because of his stealth, I have a very bad hit chance, though. Uh, it's, it's, it's alright. It is alright. So we'll take this position. We go SRM, LRM. 50 something. I could also attack the Jack. I could finish this. You know what? We're gonna finish one thing before we go to the next. Yeah. That was an Alpha Strike well invested. Cool. Do we have enough for a sensor lock? We do! Perfect. So that's the thing we're gonna do now. Sensor lock this bad boy. Yes. Evasion unchanged, but stealth, it's disabled now for a turn. And that means we can completely unload. And that's the... Oh, it's not the ballistic down. It seems to sit somewhere else. I thought usually you have the big gun on the right arm, but not on this guy. So Arbiter is still dangerous, but we're gonna initiate turn 14. And we're gonna initiate it with the flyer, with Magpie. Sure, we're gonna attack him with the Gauss rifle. Brat. All right. Oh, that, that was so close. Next big thing is definitely gonna be this guy here. The Jack. The 50-ton Omni. Right, so. Now we can try to finish off the guy that still has the stupid rock. Wait. What was that? There was a blue line for a second right next to him. Meh. Not a kill. Should I take this? Should I really try to build something around a pirate rotary too? It has this stupid misfire chance, which I don't like at all, but... Oh god, it is so good. It's really, really good. Ah! Cannery UAV! They dropped the UAV! I see. That's pretty good. Not destroyed. But unsteady. Alright. Okay, they have a UAV here. That's the guy. Can we take it out? It seems like we can actually shoot it. Alright, that, that's cool. That's good to know. Uh, what's my grass up gonna do? We try to take it? Uh, 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 rate of fire? Fire? Ah! Take that! You UAV, you nasty spy! Good. Gotta jump, gotta shoot, gotta kill. Also, I think we're gonna vigilance it up here. We're gonna brace. Okay, so that's the end of that guy. I think we are making great progress here. The next big target is certainly gonna be not the Hawk. Still very, very problematic. The next target that we are trying to attack is 
the blackjack. Out of range for Typhoon. Man. Sad. Sad, sad times. So we should LK for higher hit chance. Alright. That's decent damage. The Rex laser still doesn't hit us. Oh god. Oh, by the way, this is not it. Yeah, reinforcements are coming in. I just realized we are playing a capture base mission. That is not it at all. Ooh. Uh, still, we need to stay on target. Let's go. Blow the man down. Beautiful. I think we have our side of the battlefield under control, but let's see what's coming. A champion. Ostrock. Yeah, and a Hellcat. That is a 60 ton, no, 50, 50 ton clan medium mech, right? Still, pretty good. All right, let's go and he'll hit the trident and just take him away. We have to at some point. Might as well use our close range guys to finish off the little tank. I think I heard a vehicle. Where? Huh. So these are some missiles. I think it was just an LRM-5. Nothing too crazy. Yeah, nothing to be afraid of. An assassin. Huh? Cool. We move to the right. And we're gonna start dealing damage to the Rex dude. Good. Good, good, good. This is just for my own convenience. I just want to try it and off the battlefield so he's not moving anymore and doesn't take an uh, activation and doesn't slow my game down. I know, it's not the biggest of deals to have this guy on the battlefield. I should have shot my gals to the back lines. Again, no big deal. Doesn't matter at all. Great. So. Uh, <laughs> All right, I'll do it. I'm getting in here, hoping for the best. High explosives. I mean, why not? We almost got him. 20 structure is left. The Valkyria is gonna drop at some point. He's just gonna explode because of the heat. Or maybe not. Maybe he's getting there again. Hellcat running an LBX. And a large laser and an SRM-6, I believe. So it's basically similar to what we have on the on the champion. I mean, he's a bit more smaller lasers and mediums. Uh, whereas the Hellcat is running the one big one. But they're kind of on par. Double large laser on the Oz rock. Good. Yeah, makes sense. You know... I think Wizard is never gonna get to the front line anymore, so we're gonna use him to attack the back line. Make sure that the Shadowhawk is under control. Good. Oh, it came from here. I was like, why was there a laser down here? Yeah, we gotta push, 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 push. And again, we are in that weird tension field where I don't wanna get this Alpha Strike out against an enemy that is half dead. Let's rather kill the other one. Cool. So, base is being captured, but what now? We gotta still pacify the area, sure. There is a tank somewhere, or, or a vehicle. The hell is that? Oh, they have another UAV, which is right here. No. Do they? Ah, it's a drone. It's totally a drone. Mm. Do I have to take? No, it is a spawned item, the spawned unit, so we don't have to worry about this. Also, this is one of the perfect chances where our damage doesn't matter too much in the backline, so we might as well take that tank, uh, the turret now. 
All right. The reinforcements have to be dealt with, though. There's no running away. So let's deal with them. I see chance wins. 33 on the cap. Nothing. That's fine. Man, this is a pretty long mission again. Ah, oh, man. I want it to be quick again. Uh, it's okay. The closer they get to us, the more we can actually dump damage on them. Especially with our long range coming in now. Yeah, let's go. We have a hit chance. I'll take it. Even if it's not the greatest. We actually deal quite a good chunk of damage. Nice. So we follow up on that. Just with some small lasers, but it's still good enough, I guess. I want to go sensor lock on this guy. Maybe we can actually get some evasion off of him. And we do. Perfect. We got an arm. One medium laser down. Gotta celebrate the small successes. Uh, but we have to be somewhat careful. All right. Uh, okay, let's go fast. Let's do it. I can already hear the sonic music in my in my head. And we're really fast. One thing that we have to be careful with is our heat buildup. So if you want to fire anything... Actually, plasma here makes a lot of sense. Yeah, I don't want to go overheat. So this is the shot I'm gonna fire. Cool. Ziel just right next to the guy. Jumping, bracing. Yeah, we want to just make that push happen now. With a bit of support from our long-range dudes. And we have enough units to actually engage these guys. All the three in the back line have long-range weapons. LRMs. Or MMLs. Yeah. Let's do it. 28%. Oh god, this is so much better. But we probably want to shoot all of our weapons. Let's go standard so I don't have to worry about anything here. Good. Assassin down. Three more to kill. In terms of items to, f to pick from the salvage, I don't know if there's anything good. The only thing that I would be interested in might be the stuff that the Hellcat brings. Uh, XL Clan Engine, that's the thing. It's getting hot as well, so that's the thing that we can build upon with plasma. Alright, Jamie! Sprint. Uh, we do have Warlord, that might help a little. And we do have Vigilance, which also might help a little. Okay, and then we're gonna shoot LRMs. It's not bad. More LRMs. Please. Yeah, sensor lock. Pretty good. Negative 2 evasion, and it's pretty cool that we can also hit with our regular old pirate LRMs. Dealing a little bit of heat. Steady, overheated. Really good. Yeah, we stay in one target right now. This is the way. Okay, more LRMs coming up right now. And that should be it. So, Hellcat down. We sent him back to hell. Now what? Actually, I'm gonna take Bjorn first. Let's see if I can deal some damage to the champ. Not good enough. I don't think I'm gonna get my 13 evasion anywhere, so we might as well just attack him from the front with 12 and go vigilant. We should be protected enough to survive this. 
Uh, what's that? A minefield? No, a dropship inbound. Got it. Still fast enough? Supercharger, don't fail. We have a 2% chance. It seems good. Seems good. Alright, enemies, your turn. Your go. Whatever you want to do, do it now or die. Mm -hmm. This champion doesn't make it long. I think, yeah, next round we have both of them down. Pretty much. Good. Very good. Also, they are in melee range now. We should really try to get that going for us. Okay. Uh, yeah, no hit chance. So... Go here. Try to hit him. Or maybe he's just blowing up. Still good enough. Speaking of melee, I think we can also do it with our flyer, right? Try to make him unsteady. With a nice kick. Extra damage as well. That's right. And a headshot. Oh my god. That was so good. We still have this weird flying unit on the battlefield in the back. This UAV. This little unmanned drone. Uh, but I think I should disable my supercharges here. All of them. We're just gonna move. And we're gonna shoot. And since we're underwater, we should be able to go rate of fire. Control burst doesn't do anything for us right now. This is alright. So, he is now overheating big time. He is unsteady. We have all the ways to take him down now. We headshot him again. He's down to one structure on the, on the cockpit. Oh my god. Okay, we don't get line of sight, so we might as well just stand and shoot. And that is him. He dead? Yeah, lethal damage. That was the last bit of damage that we needed to kill him. Goody! That was a mission and a half. But it was a good one. I was having fun in this one. That was really, really good. So let's get the hell out of here. Let's get to the loot table. Let's see what we can take home with us. So. Three missions today. Not bad. That's what I call progress. And we also got some, some Argo upgrades going. We have this uh, Epsilon contract thing coming towards us. The Super Heavies may show up at some point. Ah, uh, that's so good. Uh, lots of unit destroyed here. So, question. What do we take with us? An avatar would be a great thing to have, honestly. And they're okay. They're good mechs. They are not great mechs. They're good mechs. The fact that it is an Omni mech makes it good. And it's a 70 tonner. But it's a bit of an awkward Omni. Uh, I don't know. Hellcat, one, two, three, four parts. Ostrox, 60 tonner. I don't really care about that. Let's take a look at weapons. As a clan ER large laser. Mm, potentially takeable. Potentially, I don't know. Clan LB10X autocannon. Is this better than my autocannon 10 might run that I'm running? Probably. Most likely, yeah. Machine gun, MML, there's the pirate rock. Uh, how much recoil? One per shot. Oh god. This is so much recoil, man. 3% per shot. 3% chance per shot to misfire. That's a lot of misfire chance. Jam modifiers mitigate, you say. Oh, this is so hard to use. So hard, man. Ultra Auto Cannon 5 is good. Artemis Attachment is good, but we don't need it. More C3 Slaves. We need a Master to actually get this going. Interface Cockpit. Hmm. Interface Cockpit, you say. We have one that we are not using, so I think I'm not gonna take it then. Closet is good. It's really good, actually. I'll, I'll take one. Pirate engine. It's a no for me. Advanced targeting computer gives you a 20% reduced multiplier to jam chance. 
I don't think it is additive. I think it's multiplicative, right? Yes! Clan Pharaoh. That's good stuff. Clan doubles, industrial TSM, mask, night vision, proto heat sinks. All of this is pretty nice, man. Stealth armor. There's upper recoil plus. <sighs> Alright, you know what? Why the hell not? Let's try this. Okay, I'm gonna take ammo for this as well. Hmm. Magpulse LRMs. Ooh, boy. Magpulse on my spam bot? Love it. I would love it. Uh, what kind of ammo do you use here? Rock 5. Uh, Rock 2. Where are you? You use Ultra Auto Cannon 2 ammo. Let me see. There is a double bin. 75 shots. That's plenty. I can do it. I can make this happen. So, we need a lower recoil weapon mount now. God, I cannot believe that I'm doing this. Where is it? Rotary 2 Pirate. Let's try! So, Arbiter is nice. Champion is good. Spectre. Trident. I don't care. Large laser times two. Sure, we're gonna keep him. There's an MML5. Gonna sell that. Regular armor. C3 Slave. Oh, Cockpit Voice is alright, I guess. Okay, we have this. This gives us money. But I think a 250 core is actually good to have. Ballistic Improved. Also gives us negative one recoil. Sure. Fluid. LBX ammo. We get another bin of Ultra 2 ammo. Alright. So guys, that has been it for today. I hope you enjoyed the episode. If you did, don't forget to leave a rating. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And I hope to see you next time. Goodbye.